<clears throat> okay, I should be live. Hi, it's me, your Mother Goose Justine, and I'm back with another Cozy Monday stream. I would love to welcome my gaggle back to my flock. Today, I'm excited about this one. We got a retro react. I found a video titled Chick-fil-A Mukbang, My Relationship with Becky from about a year ago. I'm going to have a timestamp, so when this reaction begins, pins in the comments. It'll also be in the uh, description of this video and in the timeline of this video. If you want to skip me catching up with my audience in the beginning, I kind of don't blame you. We tend to ramble here about various topics. I'm so excited for this one because obviously I probably reacted to this like a year ago, but I mean, now we get to look back in hindsight, like considering everything that went on this past year. Like, let's see what Amber was saying about her relationship with Becky. I am so excited. So, good afternoon, everybody. It's a different time. We're doing the Cozy Monday stream at 1 p.m. from now on, mainly because I just got to get lunch started and it was too late before. Hey, everybody. By the way, Magden was first. Uh, Magden was very impressed by this thumbnail. Actually, I've gotten several comments in the chat about my quirky thumbnail. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. It is quite quirk. <laughs> yes, Michelle is glad to catch a live and Red Left Hand is here. Red Left Hand, a moderator in our Discord, which, by the way, we're doing Pet of the Month. So, you guys, I encourage you to submit pictures of your pets. You have until uh, the 22nd to submit your pet, and then we'll begin deliberating and voting on finalists and stuff. So definitely check out the uh, Discord if you guys haven't yet. That's where I let you guys know when I'm going live and stuff. Pretty much the only social media I use. Plus, my DMs are open there. So, anyway. Ooh, Amber feels spoiled. I usually never catch a live. Here you, here you go. Hey, everybody. Good morning. I'm really excited for this one. I, I was browsing through her um, video library because I haven't done a retro react in a minute. Like, I'll react to compilations or... You're not late, Starlight, at all. I'll react to compilations on the Cozy Monday stream or something. I think last week I covered Life by Jen a little bit. Which, by the way, it appears that she seems to be doing well. We might circle back, but... Not today. Today I need to know Amber's thoughts on her relationship with Becky a year ago. Like, I, like I gotta know it. I think this video is from, like, the end of March. <laughs> Kirsten said, time to get cozy. Wish you could stream every day. Let me tell you, I mean, I've been streaming a lot lately. <laughs> or I feel like I have been. Let's see, what else are you guys saying? Ooh, Moody said honk. That's, that's, that's appropriate. <laughs> It's a very cozy day. It's, it was so cold last night, hence the uh, hot water bottle burn I got today. Because <laughs> I, I was snuggling that hot water bottle last night. It was cold last night. I'm so over this. I am so ready for friggin' What am I ready for? I'm ready for friggin' like, summer. I, I can't. I'm getting bored. Oh, Jennifer... You haven't seen me recommend it. Yeah, I think YouTube's recommending me less because I'm too spicy. I'm kidding. Obviously not. <laughs> Even the YouTube algorithm is over, Amber. <laughs> Kirsten said, yeah, keep me company or else. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, Starlight said, I saw a little bit of a retro panel with you on it, Justine. I don't know what that... I'm not sure what that is, but... A long time ago? Jeez. <laughs> oh, Crep Secular Soul said, those changes in temperature can really increase the chances of catching a cold. Tell me about it. My niece is, like, really sick now. She's got, like, a cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jamie. And hey, Jimbo. Now the party can begin. It was snowing in Michigan, Space Lagoon. Can win can winter just end? Like, seriously? I was wearing a hoodie before. Like, this is ridiculous. I, I remember last year I couldn't wait for hoodie weather. And we'll get there again. But not... I'm, it's, it's, it's too much. Like, I'm so sick of being cold. It's the end of April. Or almost the end of April. It's friggin' time. 
All I want to do is go swimming on a 90 degree day. Am I, am I wrong? <laughs> Why do I got to wait? Oh, by the way, Rosie's behind me. Let me see if I can show you guys. Rosie, cozy. Here she is. It's... Rosie, there she is. It's a good girl. Come on, say hi to the people. Are you being a good girl? Very good girl. Very, very good girl. Yes. It's snowing in Maryland. Wow. That's, that's, ah, uh, that's not that far from us. Why is it snowing? It's like 50 degrees here today, which is, I don't know what that is, Celsius. It's, it's a little too chilly to be cozy, in my opinion. I, I don't know. It's just, I guess it's cozy degrees. It's just, I'm sick of cozy degrees. I want hot degrees. I know, isn't Rosie such a good girl, hiccuping duck? You can go girl, you can go. You had a 98 degree day last week, Dumblons Rock. Where do you live? That's nuts. We had a warm day last week too. Again, the, the weather gave me a taste. Taste wasn't enough. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, Starlight said, last night I watched a video about Hater Nation. She mentioned panels and reactors, and she showed a panel with you on it. That must have been um, Ambercon. I did that a few years ago. Oh, my God. I was so nervous to do that. I was so nervous to do that. I felt so... I don't know. I was nervous the whole time. I don't know why. I stream all the time. I don't know why I was nervous. Yeah, the heat... Last week or a few days ago, whenever that was, right left hand was nuts. That was like, I just wanted, I kind of wanted it to stay. I'm not going to lie. I love sitting outside when it's hot and sunny and, oh my God, I miss summer. Summer's my favorite. My favorite. But then I get over it and then it's cozy fall. I love the four seasons. That's what I love. <laughs> but summer's my favorite. Long days. Oh, I love it. You had a warm weekend in the UK, Anna? That's amazing. Oh, by the way, I hope everyone had a very happy Easter. As was very cozy. <laughs> very cozy, but I never got to make my red lentil chili, which if I don't get to make it after this stream, I'm going to snap. <laughs> I'm so tired of not making it. I, get, I have to make it. I miss it so bad. You guys don't have seasons in Bootin, Pomerine? That's not too far from me. Mid 70s with no humidity in Vegas. That is so nice, Jamie. Oh my God. That's a nice degree. That's a nice degree. It's not warm enough to go swimming though, but it's still a nice degree. Bailey said it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the UK and everyone's gone crazy. <laughs> oh. oh, right left hand woke up to find uh, their tire flat yesterday. Her tire flat. It's not the greatest Easter. I'm very sorry to hear that. You can't find red lentils anywhere. G-R-G-L-O-I. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Gurgloy. I'm going to call you Gurgloy. Anyway, Gurgloy, you can you can buy them on Amazon. Sometimes I can't find them either, but um, one of my supermarkets by me just has bags of Goya, um, and they're like two dollars for two cups of lentils, red lentils. But you can find them on Amazon, so I've done that too. In my opinion, it's worth it to make the red lentil chili because it's so banging. <laughs> it's just really good. I can't wait to make it. Ah, Sienna Snowcam hates both heat and cold. <laughs> Hell yeah, I've had red lentil pasta, Linda. I friggin' love it. I love it. It's like so good. It's like chewier or something. I love gluten-free pastas. They're, they're good. But I feel like pasta that isn't gluten-free is more filling or something. So I don't always have 
gluten-free pasta, but sometimes I do. And I love, my favorite is definitely red lentil pasta. It's really good. <laughs> Kirsten said, I want to make the red lentil chili even though I'm not vegan. Yeah, you do. And um, what really kicks it up a notch is adding a can of coconut milk. But um, I think I'm going to skip the coconut milk this time because it's kind of calorie dense. But, oh my god, it's so good. Even Amber Lynn likes red lentil pasta. I mean, <laughs> well, Amber Lynn is fancy and shops at Trader Joe's, so. She's a little bit more um, advanced, call <laughs> <laughs> advanced than the rest of us, so. Oh, chickpea pasta is good. I, I like chick I like chickpea pasta for like summer salads, if you know what I mean. Like I make like a kind of like a pasta salad, right? Yeah, that's what I like it for. I I have these I get these chickpea pasta shells that work perfectly. The only thing is, you have to cook them al dente. Anyway. <laughs> Anna said, I'm, I'm in such a foul, foul meaning goose mood today. Talking about red lentils makes me happy, hell yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to make that as soon as I'm done here. Yeah, Freya said she needs to learn how to cook healthy meals. The only thing is, is Amber has like, an odd idea of what healthy means. She thinks healthy means low calorie and that's it. That like she doesn't go beyond <clears throat> just how many calories are in a food. That's it. She, that's <laughs> And it's a shame because I, and I'm surprised after all these years she's still that way. I don't get it. Like doesn't she watch people on YouTube like she hasn't learned anything? <laughs> I don't know. I, Sentient Starley said, Trader Joe's isn't fancy. It's the only store I can afford in my area. It's what, I, yeah, I know. I, I, I know that. <laughs> I know that I was being, I think Amber thinks it's quirky to shop there or something. I don't know. Stephanie, I already have rice made. Though, you remind me, I gotta make more. Gotta have rice with red lentil chili. It's so good. And you need hummus too, but I do not have hummus. Wow, Megan BF said, OMG, Justine, yesterday I saw a goose try to drown another goose. And I thought of you. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's, <laughs> That's absolutely terrible. Yeah, Linda said Amber will never learn. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess Amber's right to a point. <laughs> Just a human said, wait till Amber learns about Aldi. You know, they don't have Aldi's everywhere. She might not have an Aldi there. Uh, Tracy said, it's because calorie counting is the most brainless way to lose weight. It's not easy, but it's low effort. That's why she's drawn to it. Yeah, it's just healthy. I, I get it. And, and and goose on goose crime. Goose drama. <laughs> I can't. Um, I mean, obviously healthier foods are less calorie dense. So it makes sense to focus on healthier non-processed foods if you want to lose weight. But I mean, I guess Amber's right to an extent that the only thing that matters is being in a calorie deficit. It's just... The, I don't know. There, there's other ways to do it other than buying lower calorie cookies, if you guys get what I mean. Well, Jennifer said, I lost a lot of weight counting calories and it was definitely not low effort. I get it. I, I think by low effort like it doesn't require like learning about food i guess it's just, all you're doing is counting the calories oh good kt harp said justine i broke my toe yesterday and your uh, water slash ice tutorial meant i knew how to make ice to reduce swelling thank you you're very welcome i'm so happy i was able to help that's great <laughs> 
Jimbo said, Amber's right. She just does it wrong anyways. <laughs> it's true. I don't know. Yeah, Stephanie said, doesn't... Wait, you said low-carb Hannah? Um, <laughs> say half of your plate should be veggies. I need to do a better job at that. Low-carb Hannah? No, that's not how she's known, but... um. <laughs> I guess, but I'm not very good at... Okay, Stephanie, thank you. Low-carb Hannah is what, um, what do you call it? Re raw vegans call her that sarcasm, which is hilarious. But she does she does go for that, though I'm not very good at making my own plates half vegetables. I don't know. I can't stay full that way. I gotta... I don't know. <laughs> I have a little more starch on my plate than vegetables, for sure. <laughs> Okay, Crepsicular Soul said, the quality of food matters as well. In my opinion, our bodies understand calories and nutrients. I think so? <laughs> Michaela said, Amber would lose money at Aldi by not returning the carts for her quarterback. <laughs> yeah, Aldi, apparently you have to, um, you need, you have to pay a quarter to be able to use a shopping cart. Which I actually never, I haven't shopped at Aldi, but apparently that's the case. And the only reason why I know that is because I spend a lot of time, and by a lot of time, guys, I mean literally a lot of time, watching Instacart shoppers on YouTube, which might sound weird and that's fine, but I learned that from Instacart shoppers. They have to pay a quarter to shop for the customers. <laughs> Funny. God, I love watching Instacart shoppers. Have any of you guys gotten into that at all? Watching Instacart or DoorDash shoppers? Like, it's it's so fascinating to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, because, I don't know, you, you place an order on DoorDash or whatever, and, like, you don't know what goes into, you know, you actually getting your food. <laughs> and I was curious. <laughs> Linda said, I love how honest you are. Why? Is that weird? <laughs> oh, I get it. Thornback said you deposit a quarter, you get it back when you return the cart. Good to know. Right, Red Left Hand said, um, I order from Instacart every week. And uh, Jimbo asked, do you have a channel to recommend? Yes, Tarvar is my favorite one to watch. I'll type it in the chat right now. He is so funny. Tarabar. I just I just typed it in. So just search for him. Search Tarabar Instacart. You'll find it. If you guys are interested. He's like a... I don't know. He's funny. And apparently not all markets are good. There's another guy watching Miami. And he doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't seem to be as good. Plus you're delivering to a bunch of like anno like annoying apartment complexes and stuff and the customer doesn't always provide gate codes and stuff and it's annoying and I don't know. <laughs> Jennifer said I made my wife delete Instacart we were going broke. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's like so easy to order food. Oh, thank you Jimbo posted Oh, it's Tatvar. Was I wrong? I thought it was Tarvar. I'm so dumb. Thank you so much, Jimbo. Jimbo posted a, a link to Tatvar's channel. It's good. I think he just posted one yesterday. But if you just search Instacart Shopper on YouTube, you'll there's a whole bunch of channels. Tatvar is my favorite, I think. Anna said they should have a deposit for mobility scooters, but just for Ember. <laughs> and if you leave the scooter in the parking lot, you're fined $50. I wouldn't be mad if they started doing that because, like, they die out there. Or they get stuck in the rain or something. And it, it actually makes me angry knowing that there's people that don't put those mobility scooters back. <laughs> it makes me angry, so... 
Yes, Stephanie said, yes, I will follow Tatvar. I am interested in the Instacart experience from a shopper's point of view. I know, me too. I was like, like, what do they do? And also, I was interested in how much they get paid. But I guess what I'm saying is that Tatvar seems to be more successful with Instacart than other shoppers I've seen. He gets good, he gets good orders. Oh my god, the narc alert is currently in the waiting room. Waiting for her mom to get tests done for the next two hours. I'm sorry, the narc alert. That doesn't sound it. Well, hopefully this will be, in it. This, hopefully this will be a fun stream that helps fast time. <laughs> yeah, Thornback said, when you don't return your car, carts or scooters at the supermarket, you're contributing to more expensive groceries. Tell me about it. Just saying. Put your dang carts back. What's the matter with everybody? People are rude. All right, so I've been rambling for about 20 minutes, and I have chili to make, so... We're going to get this react started. I had such a cozy weekend, guys. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah, Michaela said, what market you're in matters, too. Like, here in Nowheresville, Michigan, it's rough to make more than 10 to $12 an hour. Through peak pandemic, it was easily $25 an hour, the gold rush era. Is that a, is that a fact? It was a gold rush era back then? I didn't, it took me a while to get into Instacart during the pandemic, like the, you know, I don't know. It took me a while. I think I was ordering from Whole Foods still back then, but then Whole Foods um, raised the price of getting deliveries, so I stopped using, I, I stopped buying from Whole Foods. It's too expensive to order from there. Plus, so I'm paying for a delivery, plus on top of, I have to pay for an Amazon Prime to be able to get deliveries from Whole It's way too expensive. Yes, Tavar has cracked what times and types of orders work best, Jimbo. It's a fascinating channel. Like, he makes money working for Instacart. <laughs> it's, like, so fascinating. All right. So, I went back in time in Amberland. And what I'm, okay, so what I'm about to react to, it's, it's called Chick-fil-A Mukbang, My Relationship with Becky. But this, I wanted to react to this one because this was after, directly after, like the same week of, it looks like, a string of fails on the Amber channel. Like, this is like phase three nonsense here because, hold on. She started Jenny Craig. Right? She started Jenny Craig. She quit on the third day, it looks like. Day three of Jenny Craig, or is it? And then the next video was attempting another 100-day weight loss challenge. <laughs> and then the next one was what I ate today, takeout edition, day one. It's It says day one, but we see no day two. Like, she just fell off the map. Like, she was just... And then she... Posted Vulnerability, which is like a poem, I guess. I think we all remember that one. Like, this was just a hot mess time. This was March 2021. And I think back then, I, I don't know why, but I wasn't reacting that much. I Like, last spring, I want to do retro reacts to last spring because I think, um yeah, I, I was definitely not friggin', uh, what do you call it? Reacting that much. I was reacting like once a week back then. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, the Jenny Craig era, Jimbo. That's Or one of the Jenny Craig eras. <laughs> the Narc Lord said, check out her last five thumbnails. She's wearing the same outfit. Oh my god. Hold on. Well, I want the second because I don't want to lose this video. So, let's just, let's get this going. Let's see... What Amber was saying about her relationship with Becky a year ago. <laughs> Let's see. And it looks like she's eating that grilled chicken nonsense again. Hey guys. Hi. So welcome to a mukbang. Yes. Can we try again? Try again. Try again. 
Oh, that felt so good. That felt so good, guys. I missed that intro so much. Oh, God, why can't she bring it back? I didn't realize she was using that intro so long ago. It says Barbie. Okay, this is from Torrid. If you guys saw my last video, Ooh, their Barbie Amber. collection is out right now, and it's one of my favorite. She looks very quirky right now. Barbie. Wow, that's a, that's a unique, um, unique look for sure. This video is about Chick-fil-A and mine and Becky's relationship. Yeah. So we have some grilled nuggets okay. and we have a wrap. So the wrap is literally just lettuce, chicken, cheese, no sauces, nothing. You can get sauce to dip it if you want, but... I think it's honestly good without. Oh, no, 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 no sauce for our dry girl. <laughs> no sauce for the dry girl, that's for sure. I bet she knows how many calories are in this meal, too. Chicken. I also got a drink. I got caffeine-free Diet Coke. Ah, help win. Caffeine-free Diet Coke, no way. So, so good. Okay. Oh. Your girl was hungry. Oh my god, it's so good. Hmm. Alright. Mm. It's just the way she closes her eyes while she's chewing. It's just... It seems like a little bit... Like, come on. It's like... Dry, plain chicken. Like, <laughs> she's like closing her eyes while she's eating. It's funny. Yum. People always make fun of me because I go, mm. I haven't watched a single move on her mm. who doesn't do that. So, well, it's true. Me either. Mm. I will say that her reactions to the foods are a little less extreme than Nikocado. So I will give her that. Then again, she tends to eat very boring, boring meals. <laughs> This is riveting. Dangerous. Dangerous. But healthy. And so good. This is thoroughly hitting the spot for me. Why did she call it dangerous? What is it, wielding a knife? What's dangerous about a wrap? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh. She must have been really hungry to make I wish more places did grilled nuggets. So beautifully white. So good. So dry. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'm alright. I'm alright. That's you know what I'm I I I'm also hungry. I wanna make my red lentil chili. If I can, I'm gonna snap. Me, on the other hand, some stuff has been going on in my life that I have not shared. I bet. <laughs> what else is new? Um, good stuff. For once, good huh. stuff. Yeah, okay. Like what, Amber? Did they add more restaurants to Uber Eats or something? Um. I guess this is the era, I see comments about the dark ring on her neck. I guess this is the era when she couldn't wear her choker. I'm, I'm assuming, so. Huh. I'll eventually talk about it, sure. But there will be a time and place for that. As for them, while we're really here, people have noticed that I haven't been wearing my ring. Right. And I remember this. I remember. <laughs> people saw that there was no bed in the room. Which, that's what you're seeing now. If you guys don't follow my TikTok, you need to, because love me a good TikTok. 
You know, it's funny because she said that a year ago, if you're not following my TikTok, but I never did. And I turned out all right. Yeah. Haven't been seen, Becky. Right. In my videos. Um, so, a lot of people are saying that Becky and I aren't together anymore. Yeah, there were rumors about this. There were rumors about this well before they broke up, and I remember that. And around this time, probably, this is probably a little earlier, but I did do a reading and I said, yeah, no, nah, they're breaking up. I remember that. I Maybe I got to dig it up, but I did predict them breaking up before they did. But it wasn't just me. We were all assuming that they're breaking because Becky was absent for a while. Like, she's still not wearing the ring. She's going to make a whole video trying to convince us that things are great between her and Becky, but where's the ring, girl? And then we were assuming back then, well, maybe the ring doesn't fit. I remember all this. <laughs> oh, my napkin's in the way. <laughs> no. My napkin was not touching the chicken, but I noticed it kind of looked like that. So. What? I love how white this chicken is. Okay. That's... Okay, that's just... Anyways. It's all a coincidence. You're Becky gonna, and I... You're, you're not going to put any sauce on anything. I don't know. Alright, never mind. Are Sorry. together. I think it's so weird. Think that we weren't together because we literally just got engaged. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Like, I'm so happy. Uh, and engaged. Like, nope. That's. Or, <laughs> I'm so happy. Like, no. But then you said that you felt trapped a few months after this. So this is just her lying about, I mean, I guess it's not, I guess we don't, like, viewers don't have to know everything about a relationship, but, I mean, this is why, you know, this is a great example of why we just assume what Amber says is lies, because this is just obviously a flat lie. Amber was obviously not very happy, and neither was Becky. They weren't even that intimate. You guys are well aware. We don't have to provide details, but we know it wasn't good now. And here she is lying while and eating plain chicken and pretending to enjoy it. Random little things have been happening where it literally looks like we're not together anymore. Right. So I'm going to start off with her not being in my videos. There's been no reason for her to be in my videos. I've done a lot of sit down videos. Um, a lot of videos focused on weight. Right. Like <laughs> yeah, that. focus on weight with, with what results. <laughs> anyway, I I think this is around when... Maybe this is why I wasn't reacting much back then. Because it was honestly just that boring. Because Becky wasn't in a lot of the things. And she was obviously lying about things being good between them. And it just seems like contentless content. Which... She was getting away with back then. Her views were higher, but then she now she's trying to do it again, and it's just, you know, I, this is why I'm happy to do a retro react because friggin' her content is rough now. I mean, it's just her sitting there and talking about herself, which I guess like, which which I guess is not much different than my videos, but Am Amber really doesn't have much going on. I mean, she, she, she wasn't doing, she kept abandoning weight loss journeys and like quitting diets after a day. And like, it was just getting really, 
I remember this. I haven't been vlogging. Vlogs are where you guys see Becky. You guys never see her during like a weigh in or a sit down Q and A unless the video is designed for her to be in it as well. So like I get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That part I understand. But then you guys are like, wait a minute, where's that bed at though? We simply just bought a new bed because we had two beds. We have a guest room and the room that we sleep in. And in the guest room, the bed was a full size, or it might have been a queen. Girl, who knows? But we wanted it to be a king bed. So we simply just bought a new bed. But it's definitely, like, really weird coincidences. I get it. And then the whole, okay, well, where is your ring? Well, wait, where's the king size bed? I didn't see a king size bed in that room. Wait, so they bought... A king, wait, a, a king size bed for their bedroom? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. So, I love the rings. I picked them out. A lot of people think I hate them. I literally picked them out myself. Um, nothing against Becky. Oh, God. At all. Oh, but, it's just, I oh, just. She with your mouth closed. I'm, I guess it's hard to do that when you're talking. I don't know. Just do your best. My whole life, there has been distinct engagement rings that, like, are super beautiful to me. And that's what I wanted. And mm -hmm. so I got to pick out my own rings. A lot of people do that. It's not some weird, rare thing. So why don't you wear them? Um, I forget why she doesn't wear her excuses. So excited to like not only be engaged to the person that you're like deeply in love with and you want to spend forever with, but I was super excited to like wear the ring and flaunt it. But what I have found recently, I'm scared to wear the ring. I'm scared to lose it scared to break it and I've never had real jewelry before because yeah, it was 200 bucks but you guys know I'm very into costume jewelry as you can see and I'm terrified of breaking it or something and the thing is I chill around the house I'm not out I don't have a job outside of my house um, my life. Yeah, so what? Is so that. what are you afraid of? Like I, I don't get it. Like you don't go anywhere. So if you were to lose the ring, it's somewhere in the apartment. I, I don't get it. I'm not used to like this big rock on my finger. I'm just not. Right, Thornback. It's not real jewelry. Like her, her jewelry is like the type of jewelry. Like, okay, I'm going on vacation, so let me wear this cheap one instead that that's her kind of jewelry it's right it's costume jewelry christine i'm not saying i don't like costume jewelry it's just that's the type of ring you wear when you're afraid to lose it because if you lose i don't know but i'm just surprised like she doesn't go anywhere so what are you afraid of but it's just us guys no, like i'm really like how, how, how can anybody believe this <laughs> how could anybody believe this i'm sorry that's Anyway. I'm it for the fact of like, I don't have a reason to. I have actually currently a few friends and one of my very, 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 very good friends. I know you're watching. She doesn't wear hers either. So it's like, some people just don't wear their engagement ring. And am I going to wear it eventually? Yes. It's just, I don't really, I get the significance around it, but it's like, if I'm just chilling at home, Mixed with the fear of, like, I'm afraid that I'm going to flush it down the sink while doing the dishes because I forget to take it off. Like, Wait a minute. Wait the... a minute. I'm sorry. That that was a huge ring. You're literally afraid of it going down the sink. For, I don't know. It's, is it just me? Like, when I'm rinsing out a dish, friggin' one single black bean won't go down my sink. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. 
it's too big for the drain. Like, how, how are you going to lose your ring? What, are your drains just a big hole? Like, I, I don't know, right? Like, that's... I don't get it. All right. Here and stuff like that. Like, I just figured, you know what? Let's just not wear it. Like, I'll keep it. Well, I have... I have two engagement rings. <laughs> um, one is a little bit more... Mm, I feel like one is more flashy versus the other. They're both... They were both ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, your drain's a big hole, just a human? I keep them in a safe spot. Like, I know people who are married and don't wear their uh, wedding rings, you know? But he and I did not break up. We are engaged. We are the closest thing to the opposite of breaking up. It's just so funny. Lies. <laughs> that was... It's straight lies. Oh, if you have a sink with a garbage disposal. That's right, she does have one of those, doesn't she, Maddie? You're right. I don't have one with the garbage disposal. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you guys are right. I don't have a garbage... I never had a garbage disposal, so I can't... Anyway, we all... we It's a, it's a dang lie. <laughs> Amber yelled last. So take your ring off while you're friggin' washing the dishes. I... I can't imagine not wanting to wear my engagement ring. <laughs> I can't imagine. It's <laughs> They're the closest thing to not breaking up. Amberlynn Reed, 2021. <laughs> the reason why I didn't like say anything about it is because I thought it was silly. If people, <sighs> this whole like free Becky, hashtag free Becky thing is so crazy because it's like, <laughs> Becky's that type of person, if she does not want to be with you, she ain't going to be with you. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, come on. This is just, I don't know, it's maybe kind of wrong that this is exactly the sort of thing I wanted to watch. <laughs> the narc alert said, who doesn't wear their engagement ring? I, I, I can't think of anybody. I don't know. Maybe people who have really expensive engagement rings don't want to wear them all the time, which I can understand. Like, if I had a $10,000 ring, I'd be reluctant to wear it, so it could be that. I don't know how much, I don't know how much engagement rings are. Prep Secular Soul said, I hope Becky is living her best life. It looks like she's struggling because this was, I'm sure, a very difficult relationship for her to leave and, um... I think it's gonna take her a while to find her uh, to find her confidence again. <laughs> Tracy said Becky proved her right. Tell me about it. Um, Becky is capable of living on her own and creating a life for herself. And she, <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> she sure did. A huge family, like trust me. If she did not want to be with Amberlynn Reed, she would not be with Amberlynn Reed. Plus there we go. Amber did tell the truth for once in this video. <laughs> yeah, Fatima said my ring was 8K and I only wear it when I go out or go to work. I get it. Yeah, I would be afraid. But Amber's ring is not like that. I just feel like her ring could probably be easily replaced. <laughs> there is nothing... That I give her besides my love that she wants. Where's the, where's the, I need I need to be able to insert memes like I, <laughs> I need um uh, Maury Povich saying and the it's determined that was a lie. <laughs> Apparently she didn't actually want like, it. She's. She loves me. She is with me because of me. And I know yeah. a lot of people think it's because of this and because of that and because of this. Everything that you guys think that she's with me for, she can get somewhere else. Just saying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I thoroughly 
just think I hope it. so. I hope Becky finds someone else. Honestly, someone nice. That's right. Yeah. No, no, Fatima, this video did not age well. And I had a feeling. That's why I wanted to watch it. <laughs> uh, Jamie said, oh my god, we just heard this about Winifred. <laughs> True. I don't want to believe <laughs> that Becky loves me. And people also don't want to believe that I love Becky. It's all such a weird thing. I don't know. I'm sure, you know what it is? I bet Amber wants to love but I think she's just not capable because her headspace is a little a little consumed with thoughts of herself. So maybe she likes the idea of being in love, but the whole putting it in practice thing. Like, Becky and I are in a happy relationship. Yes, every relationship no, no, has... No, they obviously weren't because they broke up not long after this. You know, you might have your little annoyances here and there but y'all we good no and no you weren't no you no you weren't at this point things were building that's that's what was going on things were building at this point and becky probably just didn't know how to tell amber <laughs> so it's a it's very much all coincidence and i just figured coincidence <laughs> I guess what I'm not sure of, this is what I'm not sure of, and I would love to hear your opinion. Type one, if you think Amber honestly thought things were good in this mukbang, she honestly thought they were good. Type two, if you think she's hiding stuff. I'm curious what you guys think. Like, I, like I'm curious, like, does, was, like, how did Amber not realize that a person she was living with for four years was about to break up with them and move out. All right, I see a couple ones. All ones. So you guys think that Amber... Okay, Ivana... Okay, nope, Ivana and Tammy don't buy it. You guys think that Damon White... You guys think that Amber's lying. But most of you are saying one. Oh, a lot of twos coming through now. Uh, I... I'm not sure, guys. It, see, Amber lies to herself a lot, so who knows? I just figured I would simply just talk about it. Um. Okay, so... Just as a reminder, this is from March, the end of March, this video. And Becky broke up with her, um, the, the end of June. So, just for some context. So, I know there's a lot of people who watch me who are on diets, so... Alright. Um, I want to tell you how many calories... See, I told you guys. I told you guys she knows exactly how many calories this is. Watch. Food was... It just doesn't, like, <laughs> it just, the only reason why I pick on her for the counting calories thing is because it obviously doesn't work for her. She needs to find a different route. And I'm very much the same type of person. I'm not, I, I would rather, like, counting cal. it's just kind of tedious. Like, I would rather, well, let me just eat these types of foods so I don't exactly have to calorie count. Um... Which would probably, like, it would help Amber more just to stick to healthy foods, but this whole calorie count, it just puts numbers and in her disordered brain. It just makes her obsessed about it and think about food way more than she typically would. It's, it's a mess. She is obsessed with numbers, Colin S. I mean, I don't deny that losing weight is calories in, calories out. But I'm saying focusing on the numbers and the numbers alone can cause, like, an obsession with an obsessive person, so. Okay, my phone is loading so slow. Like, what is happening right now? So good. Why are you loading so 
What is she doing? So the eight count of the nuggets is what I got. Is 130 calories. Very low. That's why I love it. Um, and this with no sauce is 350. So very, very Right, Good. Anna Anna said every time she starts calorie tracking, it's made her fail most other diets she's on. Right? Like she'll be on a diet feeling all right and then she adds the calories and then she stops. It's like the it's just the, tr the counting them are just like triggering. Oh my god, Colin S. said, I got so obsessed over not eating a thousand calories a day. I under ate half that every day. That's nuts. I don't know. It's just the, the obsession. In my opinion, it's better to focus on what you're eating. Filling low-calorie meal. Right, Jamie. She probably binged later on this day. Absolutely. Just because she knows, it's just... That's so good. I've said that like a hundred times. Yes, you have. And I doubt it's that good. I just... <laughs> yeah, Red Left Hand said she's just never going to lose weight full stop. Not on this path, no. Maybe at all. Who knows? Yeah. You, if me and Becky broke up, you would know. Oh, and we did find out. That was a great day. That Actually, that was the day that I started posting much more often. Like, after the breakup, like, April, May, June, like, or the beginning of June, I really was hardly posting back then. I think I was taking a lot of medicine or something, and I was bored by Amber. Anyway... <laughs> Full disclosure, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, yeah, we did We did hear about it, Amber, so this was also a truthful statement, I guess. I'd be distraught. Distraught. Yeah, you were. You were, and you were, but you know what? It was okay because you found someone like a week or two later, so, and then you moved them right in. Which is weird. And, and Becky was, if you guys remember, at the time... Becky was cool with still living there after the breakup, but she didn't want Amber moving someone in right away and said, look, if you do, I'm out. So what happened was then Amber immediately moved someone in, a stranger, <laughs> total stranger, and Becky moved out like she said she would, so... Sit and sip a while. Alright. Get those, sip those break. chemicals, oh, Amber. Sit, sit. <laughs> sip. sip them. So dumb. Hashtag health. This is so good. <laughs> the narc alert wants to know, where's the napkin? <laughs> Amber doesn't need those. Chick-fil-A is one of the healthiest fast food places, in my opinion. I know a lot of people don't like this place because of, um, they're very anti-LGBTQ+. Yes. I'm a lesbian. Right. <laughs> so... I get it. <laughs> she keeps eating it anyway. But you guys would be <laughs> shook if you look up right now all the other companies that we use on a daily basis that are anti-LGBTQ+. Okay. So many. 
All right, Amber. Oh, Amber's my. appeal to futility. <laughs> it's not worth it being choosy who I buy from because who cares? Like the fact that there can be companies that are against me. Girl, why are you against love? <laughs> As she takes another bite, who cares? <laughs> and I never will. Right, never anybody, will. it's activist Lynn. <laughs> she's not doing any activism. She's just sitting there complaining while endorsing a company that has principles she doesn't agree with. That's fine. straight I feel this way like how never mind that's a whole other topic okay god forbid you actually delve into an issue Right, he starts with the bank said, why speak with your dollars? If you like the food, then it's fine. <laughs> guys. I don't know, guys. Uh, maybe this is easy for me to say. Obviously, there's a lot of foods I don't buy. What? All your little haters out there. P please make a clip of how many times I said so good in this. No. Because... Nah, it's too much work. <laughs> I feel like I've said it a lot. So good, though. So good. This shirt is meant to be like that, but it makes me feel kind of frumpy. On other girls, it looks so good. It just kind of looks like, oh, I accidentally ripped my shirt or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> I can't. I can't argue with that. <laughs> right, Anna. A dry wrap she could easily make at home. Well, why do that if you have money you want to waste ordering it? And it'd, it'd be healthier too, and less calories. I'm... All right. Yuck it up, Chuckles. Yuck it up. Uh, Bailey asks if the camera's making her look bigger or is she just bigger? She is She is a little bit bigger in, in this, yes. Not much bigger, but yeah. <laughs> Literally just watching people chew. Now I'm going to reapply my lipstick. Bit of this color. This is Milani in 160 Voyeur. I actually don't hate that lipstick. It, I'm, gonna I'm, add I'm gonna say a sense shine, shine, shine in 20 strawberry red. Just a little bit. Oh, Amber, you you look so, so I dainty. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, so what do you guys think? That, I, I think that that was, like, a lot of fun. <laughs> I thought that was great. Yeah, Jade said her shoulders are huge here. She she is bigger here. I don't think much, though. Um, maybe 40, 50 pounds-ish, maybe? Uh, Red Left Hand demands to know why does she need lipstick to sit around her apartment? I guess she needed a quirky way to end the video. Jimbo hated this era. So did I. That's why I was not reacting. I was not, I was flat. Barely. You guys can look on my page. Like, I react all the time now. I got a little more interested after Becky broke up with her. But I was not into this era at all. I was barely uploading. And I also just, at the time, wasn't sure what else to post. So I was kind of just 
barely uploading and really just going live. Um, I was just going live on Mondays during my Monday stream. So yeah. Wait, was I talking about myself in the third person? That's weird. I didn't, I didn't intend to. That's very odd of me. Oh, Melissa's got to go pick up the kiddos. All right, have a great day. Happy Monday, everybody. Type one if you're starting a diet today. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you should have, if you wanted to go on a diet, you should have started it yesterday. Yes, don't wait till Monday. Please. This was incredible. It did happen just like, I don't know, just like how Amber said. She was like, if Becky wants to break up, she'll just break up with me. And she sure did. <laughs> uh, well, Kelly typed one. I know. Jamie said, I wonder what she will grace us with today. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. We'll find out. Right, Heather said, wearing lipstick around the house is the quirky thing to do. Do you guys think she'll come through with an upload today? We'll see. Uh, Colin S. said, her content now and then has never aged well. It's like a loop. The same things are said and the same things happen. Tell me about it. Oh, a couple of you are starting a diet today. <laughs> oh, okay. Tracy um, is starting Octavia, and then I might want to do Weight Watchers tomorrow, and then maybe Calorie Counting on Wednesday, and then Mukbang on Thursday. I like how that sounds. <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, and Jimbo said the noom on Friday and use Jenny Craig for the weekends. That's a great idea. <laughs> that is a fantastic idea. Oh, you're enjoying Easter candy, Fatima? I did not get any Easter candy. That's all right. I don't need candy. Uh, I just got, somebody just said, I'll have to address that later. Oh, KT Harps did hours and hours and hours of research about the diet that they're starting today. That's great. Good. That's good. So because of all the research, you'll be able to come up with a good excuse once you quit it. Good. Got to know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> oh, Jade is technically starting a diet today because I'm so ill. All I've eaten is two slices of toast. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better soon. That, that stinks. That definitely stinks. Yeah, we do Easter eggs, Bailey, but none of the candy's vegan. That's all right. I'm not. I'm not really complaining. It's all right. The last thing I friggin' need is candy. I'm like, I'm finally starting to clear up my acne. Let's not start eating a bunch of candy. Oh my God, you work twelve-hour shifts, prep secular show soul. That's that's just terrible. That is just terrible. Uh. Well, she didn't have a deep fried mukbang, Anna. She had a wrap, like a grilled, dry, dry as frig, grilled wrap. No sauce. You had peeps yesterday, Jimbo. Good for you. Good for you. Mmm. 
Obtain Dash said, now I want to send you some vegan stevia sweetened candy. Oh, that's nice of you, but not necessary. The last thing that I want or need is candy. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of food, I'm going to wrap this up because I have a chili that I want to make and I want to get to it before somebody else uses the one pot we have. I forget if I told you guys about that, but... <laughs> So I want to get that going. I already have the rice made. So I would love for you guys, please, to submit your pets for Pet of the Month in our Discord. So if you, the um, invite link to our Discord is in the description box. And there's different sections in the Discord for different interests. And there is a pet section. And I want you to post a picture of your pet. And then, <laughs> and then we will vote. So you can submit them until the 22nd, I believe. Jimbo posted another link to the Instacart YouTuber, Tatvar. I, I don't know. I just really love watching him. So you don't like the taste of Stevia Unicorn Blush? You know, I just started using it and it was strange at first, but now I really like it. I had to adjust my taste buds. Yes, you can red left hand. I don't see why not. Submit your pets. And other than that, guys, I, I, I'll go live um, if Amber uploads something good. Heck yeah, I have a Discord. What the? Still backwards. We just reached over a thousand members of our Discord. I, I think we're at a thousand thirteen last time I looked. It's hopping. All sorts of different uh, sections, but the one where I'm usually hanging out is in the Amberverse, obviously. So, and my, um, I'm Mother Goose on the Discord, and my, uh, DMs are open, and I would love to chat with all of you, so, please check out the Discord, and other than that, I'll be live again soon, probably tomorrow, assuming I'm feeling alright, and I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend, and that's it. Bye, guys.